every Mohammedan believing Muslim is Al-Qaeda. It's not outrageous. It's a fact. Just because somebody is not putting a, strapping bombs on their body and blowing everybody else up doesn't make him a decent and law-abiding citizen. It's just a matter of choice. They go to the mosque. What do they learn in the mosque? Every Friday, in every mosque, in every country on earth, what do they hear from the imam? How to hate anybody who is not a Muslim. Don't take my word for it. Challenge me. Is uh, this type of teaching uh, spread throughout uh, what is happening in the mosques in America as well? In every mosque. It's irrespective of any mosque. They have no choice. With all due respect, John, listen. In a church, what do they read? They read from the New Testament or the Old Testament. True or not? Uh, true. Okay. So the congregation learns from these books. What do the Muslims learn in the mosque? From the Quran. What does the Quran say? I mean, what does the Quran give them? Hate, hate, hate. Okay. It is very difficult for people to believe me. Can, may I recite a few verses for you? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I'm going to recite in name, chapter, and verse. Al-Ma'idah is the name of the chapter. Chapter 5, verse 51. It says, O ye who believe, Muslims, take not the Jews, in Arabic, Yahud, and the Christians, Nasara, for your friends and protectors. They are but friends and protectors to each other, and he amongst you that turns to them for friendship is of them. Do you know what that means? Any Muslim in America, in Europe, who becomes friends with Christians and Jews, becomes an apostate. It's this, this translation from Arabic to English was not done by a, a Christian or a Jew or a Zionist. It was done by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Next verse, Al-Imran 3.85. If anyone desires a religion other than Islam, submission to Allah, never will it be accepted of him. I mean, it's clear. There's no ambiguity in any of this. Another one, Al-Tawbah 9.33. It is he, Allah, who has sent his apostle, Muhammad, with guidance and the religion of truth, Islam, to proclaim it over all other religions. By the way, these verses remind me of Hitler's Mein Kampf, the Nazi master race creed, exactly the same. I mean, these are what they are learning in the mosque. So what are they supposed to do? You tell me. If these are the instructions from Allah, their God, what are they supposed to do? Nobody is born evil. Muslims are not born evil. They are indoctrinated to be evil. They have no choice. All I ask from people who don't believe me, Google my name, check me out. You can email me. It's very simple. I get thousands of emails, most of them supporting me. A few of them want me dead. Well, just Google my name, al Rasuli, A-L-R-A-S-S-O-O-L-I, and believe me, you have a lot of information there. You've been listening to a recorded interview with Mr. I.Q. al-Razuli, a native Iraqi now living in the U.K., and author of the three-volume work entitled Lifting the Veil, The True Faces of Muhammad and Islam. These are transcriptions of 312 audio videos uh, that you can find on the YouTube series Idiot's Guide to Islam. They're also available at AuthorHouse.com and Amazon.com as well. Now, his website is Al Razuli, that's spelled A L R A S S O O L I, Al Razuli.com, and he blogs at Al Razuli Live.blogspot.com.